dolphin following the dredge right now. Just giving you guys a quick demo and a little dolphin came up right behind it. Can you see it in the camera? Just with the tail, just outside. Can you see him? Yep. these things are. Here's how close this fish actually is. You can poke him with a rod and it'll still come back to it. You can see that he's just hooked on it. Still right back there. Here comes a second one in just behind him now and a third one. I'm gonna slide this. Oh, whoa! I'm gonna slide this little jig out off to the sides just to see if it'll prompt a bite. Keep an eye on that jig. They've been pretty receptive to it. Here they come right now. I'm trying to not let them get it. <laughs> Here comes another pack of three. It seems like no matter what you do, they're gonna follow us. You know, we've already done a handful of loops, and uh, shoot, all these bites are. I don't know, maybe 12 or 15 feet behind the boat. So this goes to show how effective that school of fish that we're calling actually is. Scott, is it, is it the flash of the of the of the ballyhoo on the on the teaser or the rubber fish or the, the scent? Um, I, I think it's I think it's a combination of everything. You know, when I first started calling them, I was strictly a uh, a natural bait kind of guy, figuring that you can't beat the scent and and the actual look of natural fish. Um, since then, I've thrown in a lot of rubber fish. Here's a decent dolphin coming in a little further back. I 
thrown in a fair amount of rubber fish only because at this slow speed they produce a little more vibration, they produce a little more harder kick and seem to get the fish a little more aggressive. Uh -huh. So the, uh, the combination of the rubber fish and the natural bait seems to work really well. Teaser up a little bit, please. Just hit the toggle switch up for me. You can see the whole school of dolphins swimming right with that teaser. Yeah, go go ahead. That's fine. They all want it. Perfect. That's how we like it. Do that again. One cast. You're a fly fisherman? Oh, yeah. You'll be real glad to hear that I actually took two of them off yesterday. <laughs>